Hi, welcome back. Today in our reading class, we'll be discussing about adjective. So we'll be doing this one for this week. Okay, we're now in unit six, week one. But before we start, I'll be asking you some questions about adjective. Okay, in your own idea or in your own opinion, what is adjective for you? Yes, that's perfect. Okay, so um, adjective is actually a word that describes a noun. Okay, describes a noun. And also, adjectives tells what kind and or how many. Okay, again, adjective tells what kind and or how, how many. And then I'll be giving you some examples of adjective that tells what kind and how many, okay? So the first example is, for what kind, we look at the blue house. Again, we look at the blue house. So the adjective is blue. It answered the question, what kind of house? That house is color blue, okay? So this is the adjective and this is a noun, okay? Next is I'll be giving you an example for uh, how many, okay? So the sentence is, there were many flowers in the yard. Again, there were many flowers in the yard. So the adjective is many for, it tells about how many pieces of flowers, it, like, it's more than how many, you can count, okay? And then the flowers is the noun, okay? Again, adjective describes a noun. Also, adjective tells what kind or how many. All right. Okay. So, I will be giving you some rule on how to use some adjective. Okay. The first one is, if you're, if you're going to use a and the I just want to let you know that these words are special adjectives and they're called articles. Okay. Again, a, n, and the are special adjectives and they're called articles. Okay. Yes. Second rule if you're going to use a and n, you need to use that before singular nouns. And then if you're using A, use that before a word starting with a consonant. And N before a word starting with a vowel. Again, if you if you're going to use A, use that before starting with consonant. And N use that before starting with a vowel. Okay. Great. The third rule is use the before singular or plural nouns. Again, the before singular or plural nouns. Okay, great. So again, let, let's have some review, okay? Um, a, N, and the, they're called special adjectives and they're called articles. If you're going to use A, N, use that before singular nouns. And then if you're going to use A, use that before starting with the with a consonant. And N, use that before a word starting with a vowel. And then if you decided if you want to use the, you can use that before singular or plural nouns. Okay? So now let's move on. We'll go and do some practice. Okay? So the practice, the instruction is you need to draw one line under each adjective and article. Draw two lines under the nouns that adjective or article describe. Again, we need to draw one line under each adjective and article, and then draw two lines under the noun that adjective or article describe. Ready? Great, so in the first a sentence. There are empty house on our street. Again, there are empty house on our street. So the answer for that is, here, 
the uh, adjective and article is empty. Okay. N is the article and empty is the adjective. And the noun is house. So we need to underline that for two times. Okay. Great. Next. The second sentence is we walk by the quiet house daily. Again, we walk by the quiet house daily. Do you have the answer with you? Again, you need to draw one line under each adjective and article, and then draw two lines under the noun that the adjective or articles describe. For sentence number two, we walk by the quiet house daily. The answer is yes, we walk by the quiet house daily. So the article is the and the quiet is our adjective and the noun is house so you need to write two lines for the house because house is our noun okay great so now you need to do your independent practice okay so in your grammar packet do it, get your grammar packet for unit six, week one. Do the pages one to six to one to seven. Okay. And then for more questions about our topic, please post your question in our reading classroom or send me a message using Class Dojo. And then, yeah, feel free to connect with me. And then again, our due date of this uh, packet is on Sunday. So just take your time and then relax. Okay. Have a good day ahead. And I wish you and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.